Hello everyone, Equip Novo here, and welcome to my new build guide for my Crit Lightning Arrow Ranger. The, my Crit Lightning Arrow Ranger has become a much more survivability, have much more survivability than it had before. I do a little bit more damage than before, uh, especially my uh, Lightning Arrow do more damage. And I also experiment with some, with some other uh, skill, uh, uh, skill yeah, bow skills, and it were, you can use uh, pretty much whatever skill, bow skill you want to this build. It maybe except uh, explosive arrow, but uh, I prefer to use uh, lightning arrow still. But I have tried out tornado shot. It does quite a bit of damage. If I let's uh, let's equip it. Yes, uh, equip it here. I'm gonna show how it how it works. And I'm going to use great mold projectiles. You see, use great mold projectiles if you're going to use tornado shot because it increases the damage of it. So the tornado shot's uh, DPS is uh, five and a half k, five thousand four hundred k to be precise, and as you can see, it just kills everything. It works really well. But I still prefer uh, lightning arrow, but as you can see, no problem at all to kill the enemies with tornado shot. And I'm gonna go over my skill tree in just a minute, in just a second. So I kill these enemies here and then I'm gonna go do that. Just need to clear these enemies here. So not interrupt me. Skill game level up, so let's go to my hideout so I can show the passive skill tree. So, the new passive skill tree brought some interesting changes. Um, the first thing I did was, uh, if you're gonna level up this character, I recommend starting with the life and evasion path here, and even get finesse. To help you hit the enemy e easier. Then you can go for the damage part when you're beginning. You go for all of these nodes here, Ballistic Monstery, Aspect of the Eagle, and get the bow damage here. And then you have a good base damage for your leveling up, leveling process. Then you're gonna get down here, get uh, dexter, this de get to to get to lechery. I think I pronounced that right. You can if you want to waste some e extra point, not waste them, but if you want some extra value. Then getting this worthless dexterity note here, get these notes here, attack and movement speed, and quick step. Give you a good amount of uh, attack speed and a good amount of movement speed, six percent. Not even, uh, actually even more, 8% uh, more movement speed, which are nice. So these are pretty good notes, but it will cost you 3 notes if you want to get them. Then I went straight up here, yeah, you can get this one if you need some extra health, or I really recommend them if you are on hardcore, so you can get some more life, to so survive most well. If, you are, uh, if you're not going to use Linus Glare and want to use a more crit orienting bow, get the ac these accuracy notes here, they're really good. Or even get these Acro Notes here, they're also really good and give you more survivability. If you're not gonna use Linus Glare, I'm recommending these no notes here. And uh, I'm gonna take these notes when I level up more. But uh, this is the main damage part of the build, it's Heavy Draw and Deadly Draw. Very good notes here. Get Survivalist, it's a very good note. This one, get this only if you need some extra intelligence. I don't know, maybe your gear have more... Uh, get, try to get uh, the intelligence on your gear. Uh, first of all, that's much better. But if you need some uh, intelligence, you can get... Or strength, you can get this. Two notes here. Then you can go for quickness. Uh, sniper, blood sculpture, and coordination. Very good notes. And I recommend go up here. There. And then you have actually access to assassination, which I want going to take when I have uh, the have leveled up more, I need three more level, and I recommend getting assassination. You can even get this one to access these accuracy notes instead, they give you critical hit chance, which are actually are very good. And you even have access to blood drinker, which are nice life and survivability. Besides that, I when, uh, before you when before you go up here, I recommend go down here to get King of the Hill, uh, Iron Reflexes, Get these nice uh, damage notes here, and uh, you can do this build as a as a duelist as well. If you're starting getting attack speed, armor, and life innovation, get attack speed here to get to 
art of the gladiator and then you have access to pretty much the same free it's a little bit uh, yeah actually yes that's good so you can do this build yes that's good as a duelist then 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 i get down to get a uh, cloak and shame good note and give you a good resistance and evasion and armor i get the uh, bravery and mana flows mana flows help you with your mana Man, this build like taking a this is not a blood magic build so but you can use it as a blood magic build you can just uh, drop mana flows and mana and then use blood magic instead but i like to use more uh, damage support them so i'm using a mana build and not so heavily depending on getting mana life back when you're hitting enemies then i went down to get unwilling stance and iron grip when you get this you are pretty much free to go whatever you want i you get for lust for carnage and this knows here this is on my main life uh how i get my main life in this build and then i get up here you can get berserker to get the extra attack speed this, are, this one is a very good note. And here you have a good amount of life. I re uh, actually recommend taking uh, Path of the Warrior. It can increase your physical damage. It's a very good thing. And it give you it give you a good amount of damage. And then you can go up and get this one. So that's pretty much my skill tree. And so far I have more life than I had before. So this uh, I want to call this build for a hardcore viable build. This one is uh, pl I playing a softcore. But you can use it in hardcore. You just get... Uh, a little bit less uh, damage, maybe not go up here and you actually focus more on the life like tech skin and get this full uh, full one here before you go up here and take this to the notes up here and take uh, not uh, don't take the crit damage in the beginning but besides that this is working really well and uh, another thing you can do if you not want to take mana flows you can take a path down here to get this one if you take this one you pretty much have all the mana you need but i decided to go for mana flows instead it was a very quicker way to get here but it's uh, it's one thing you can do to get this nose here it give you one ma two mana for every enemy hits by attacks and give, give you mana on kill and increase your mana so pretty much it so and uh, this build working really well with the most uh, bow skills you want to use it's a very fast and hits very hard my fire arrow, which are my single target skill, does uh, 26,000 DPS. Yeah, I use it on single target, but uh, the mana will run out on it pretty fast. But most enemies will not survive long enough to actually survive. And you can have mana leech on your gear, which I don't have. So my gear is not optimized. But I, w I went for survivability in my gear. My gear is pretty much the same as before, so I'm not gonna go over it. I'm using pretty much the same auras as I did before. And by the way, I hope you guys liked my uh, video and my crit lighting arrow range show, which can use tornado shot. And uh, thanks for watching everyone, and please tell me in the comments what you think about my build. I love to read the comments, so see you guys next time. Take care everyone.